China is rolling out a new armored family built for a battlefield shaped by drones, networked sensors, and top attack threats. On September 3rd, during the Victory Parade in Beijing, Chinese state media named what many had been tracking for weeks. The Type 100 main battle tank presented alongside a companion Type 100 support vehicle. Public footage confirms shared sensors, a low-profile turret with a remote weapon station, and launcher clusters consistent with an active protection suite. Technical data remains withheld, but the pairing itself signals a move from single-platform upgrades to a common architecture. So, in today's video, we're exploring everything we know about China's Type 100 family and what the footage confirms. Let's dive in. The Type 100 appears as a family rather than a one-off tank. Two vehicles carry the same designation, a main battle tank and a companion infantry or support variant that mirrors the sensor and protection layout. The public lineup places these alongside the upgraded Type 99B, suggesting the Type 100 slots in as a networked, highly digitized package, while legacy fleets continue to serve. The family approach follows a wider pattern across Chinese programs, where mission electronics are standardized and then scaled across platforms to simplify training, sustainment, and upgrades. Official figures for dimensions, weight, power pack, and gun caliber are not published. Any numbers circulating online remain unconfirmed. This review sticks to what is visible in open footage and state coverage. Even without hard specs, the visual design language is clear. The turret sits low and compact, with a commander's remote weapon station on the roof. Electro-optical sensor blocks line the turret cheeks and roof line, with additional apertures on the hull. The arrangement hints at panoramic awareness, with stabilized day and thermal channels, giving the crew a continuous picture without large turret movements. Parade video shows small cylindrical launcher clusters at the turret quarters, in a layout consistent with modern hard-kill active protection systems, with nearby housings likely supporting soft-kill effects. The companion vehicle repeats the same sensor geometry, reinforcing the idea of a shared electronics backbone across the family. Chinese outlets describe the Type 100 as highly informatized, which typically points to three features. First, Continuous 360-degree perception from distributed optics and thermal imagers. Second, automated target handoff within the crew and across nearby vehicles. Third, reliable data links to pass tracks to higher echelons and accept cues from overhead uncrewed systems. In practice, that means the tank team can spot, classify, and engage faster while sharing the same picture with the support variant. The protection layer appears to combine hard-kill interceptors with soft-kill aids to disrupt seeker lock and buy reaction time under loitering munitions pressure. The main gun caliber, ammunition natures, and autoloader details are not public. The same holds for the engine type, transmission, and power-to-weight ratio. What we can say is that the turret architecture and site placement are consistent with modern fire control expectations. Independent commander sighting, stabilized channels, and the software hooks needed for aided target recognition. Mobility will depend on the final power pack and weight, but the broader concept hints at a platform sized for sustained operations with the electrical power budget to run a dense sensor suite and an active protection system without sacrificing endurance. The strongest signal is the family logic. A main battle tank and a companion vehicle move together and see the same battle space. That opens roles where the support variant carries different payloads without losing the perception and protection layers, such as extra sensors, short-range air defense, loitering munitions racks, or heavier anti-structure effects, all while publishing the same tracks as the tank. With a common electronics core, upgrades in software, counter UAS tools and networking can roll across variants at once. 
units can mix and match without fragmenting situational awareness. Modern battlefields compress timelines. Overhead ISR finds armor quickly, and loitering munitions punish vehicles that rely on passive armor alone. The Type 100 family appears built to operate under persistent reconnaissance with tighter links to uncrewed systems. Crews should be able to accept external cues, pass their own tracks, and coordinate fires within seconds rather than minutes. In that context, a proven hard kill suite plus fast target handoff may change outcomes more than a marginal increase in muzzle energy. The companion vehicle keeps pace, covers angles, and brings mission-tailored payloads, all on the same digital backbone. Key data remains undisclosed. There are no official figures for gun caliber, ammunition types, fire control magnification, thermal resolution, engine and transmission, combat weight, armor composition, or the exact active protection model. There are no verified test records against top attack profiles or loitering munitions. The specifics of the digital backbone and external data links are not public, and there is no confirmed crew configuration. Until the manufacturer or the army releases technical sheets or unit-level training material, any circulating numbers should be treated as estimates. If the Type 100 family fields at scale with reliable networking and a validated hard kill system, it will move China's heavy armor toward the team-centric data-sharing model many militaries are pursuing. The impact depends on production tempo, how quickly brigades absorb the electronics and tactics, and whether export variants appear. The most important proof points to watch are formal specifications, published or well-documented testing of the protection suite, and training footage that shows integrated drills with UAVs and networked fires. The public debut of the Type 100 as a paired armored family is a clear signal of where China wants its heavy forces to go. Shared sensing, active protection, and a common digital core are now on display. Many details remain classified, but the direction is set. If networking and protection hold up in unit training, this family could change how PLA armor operates under drone pressure. If you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analysis.